Hello. Hello, hello. I am going. Hold on. Okay. Can you guys let me know if the if there's a delay in my voice or if you can hear me? It's, does the sound sound good or is there a delay? Hi. Hopefully there's not a delay. I look radiant. That's good. I definitely don't feel radiant. How are you? I will explain. There's a reason I jumped on today. Okay, thank you so much. Um, the sound sounds good. Okay, great. Perfect. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday, happy some sort of eclipse going on right now. I know we're entering eclipse season and I know that May is gonna be a really powerful transformational month. In fact, it's possible that this that May may be one of the most potent months we've had this year. I believe that it has a lot to offer us. And um, so I wanted to jump on and share with you what I am currently experiencing and I, I sat with myself before I jumped on to just make sure that it was in the highest outcome for myself and for everyone to jump on when I'm in this state. Happy birthday, Amy. Um, thanks. These leggings are from, um, look, they're pretty cool. They got the lines. They're from Fabletics. I love them. Um, I checked in with myself before I jumped on because I wanted to... I want to make sure that it was for the highest outcome for all of us. I usually don't share when I'm in the midst of, you know, um, moving through something intense. But uh, I was guided to jump on and share with you what it what it's like for me when I am going through intense shadow. In case it helps you guys, because like I said in yesterday's video, the month of May apparently starting right now, is going to be very much like a snow globe where, you know, the snow globes where you shake it and like all this snow um, comes up off the ground and you can see all the snow, but when it's settled and the snow globe is just sitting there, you can't see anything, right? Um, my phone's going to get hot and turn off, so I'm going to hold it. So anyway, what's going to be happening with us this month is that we're going to get rattled, um, all of us. The more quiet time that you have, the less busy your life is, the more you're going to feel the rattling of internal shadow, which is just things that we've already seen and experienced within us that need to be shown to us once again, or new things within us. What are these things that are being shown? What is this snow? that's arising and being rattled. It is what I like to call density or energies. And an energy is a thought, a belief, a behavior, an emotion, a trauma, a program, um, a conditioned state, right? It can be a lot of different things that are stored within our body as energy that is in a denser state, density, denser energetic state than the current frequency of your body. So the more light that your body is gonna hold, the last two months and especially April, we received so much light in our bodies. So May is gonna be like, oh, you just received all this light and now it's gonna, now we're gonna start to rattle, right? The denser energies in your body. And why is this happening to us? Because we are evolving. We, as a consciousness, are not evolving. What's interesting about this evolution is it is actually the physical vessel, the cells and the DNA, which is the DNA, which is light. DNA is light. It's information. It's knowledge. That's what's evolving. You see, you are a consciousness that is beyond anything that is evolving here. So you're experiencing yourself as a human in a physical body, moving through states of being or states of consciousness, but you are a much higher soul, 
spirit or consciousness that doesn't need to evolve. So it's important to understand that when we say we are evolving, it's actually, believe it or not, simply the physical vessel that holds the DNA that's evolving and allowing us to experience ourselves as a consciousness in a physical human body in new ways. So we're starting to ex access new states of being, new states of consciousness, new awarenesses, new abilities, new relationships, friendships, abundance, joy, peace, love, all of these things that have always been available in the quantum field that we are now being able to access more easily. But the key to that access is one, it has to occur and be accessible within the physical body. Every experience you have is based on the physical form, the frequency, the vibration, the energy that is held within the physical form. And so what you want to do is recognize that whatever is inside the physical body that is denser than the light that your current body is holding, it's going to have to be seen. It's going to have to arise into the surface so that you can see it, feel it, observe it, which allows it to slowly dissolve. That's what's happening right now in this month for many of us. Here's what we do. Here's what the beautiful human does when they feel shadow that they don't want to feel. Like for instance, today, I am feeling melancholy, blah, somewhat of a depressed, like you would think, oh, you sort of feel depressed, right? Um, I feel as if I am in a dream state so it's like I'm moving about my day, but I feel like I'm in a dream. Like I'm not really here. Here is what I do when I'm experiencing this. And here's what many people do when they experience this. What I do when I experience this is I surrender to it. I don't try to figure out why. I already know why. It's called evolution. It's called density moving out of my body. So I don't need to do anything with it because I, Lori, the human that has an ego, is not in charge of this evolution. I am not in charge of how this goes. I do not try to pretend to create a positive vibe, a good vibe, a good vibe. You got to be in a good vibe. I don't try to move my frequency. I don't try to positive think my way through this. When these moments are experienced within me, these are the moments that are the most precious and the most important in my opinion, in my experience, and what I have gone through. It is in these moments where I am right here, right now with you guys, where I feel melancholy, blah, ugh, like there's nothing to grab. There's no excitement. Um, What's the point of all of this, right? There is something within me, a shadowy energy that needs to be experienced. It needs to be expressed. It needs to be felt. I don't judge it. I don't say to myself, something's wrong with you, Lori. You're a teacher. You know about this. You shouldn't be feeling this. I don't do that. I don't say to myself, you know, um, why? Why are you feeling this? What do, you, what do you need to do to get out of this? What do you need to do to get out of this? I don't need to do anything to get out of this. This is the natural process of evolution, of my body shifting into higher frequencies, my body shifting into higher vibrational states, my body shifting into new states so that I can be in new ways. What a lot of us do is that we don't like when we feel these moments of shadowy energy. We don't like it. And so what we do is we judge it. I don't like it. I shouldn't be. Uh, this isn't good. What's wrong with me? The moment you judge it, you literally stunt your evolution and your transformation and your growth. The moment you stop it and try to change it, you are acting like you have the control over this. Right? And the moment you try to stop it or change it or fix it, right? you are trying to move yourself out of something that isn't going anywhere. So if you try to go and make yourself busy to try not to feel it, 
you try to, um, you know, do anything you can to change it, you will find yourself back here. I promise you, especially in the month of May, you are going to find yourself back in this, whatever this is, whatever emotions, whatever states that are uncomfortable for you that you don't like and that you don't want to be in. And so you do everything you can to get out of it. You try to be in a high vibe or a positive vibe or a good vibe, only good vibes here. Literally, when I see signs that say good vibes only, I want to tear it down, burn it and say, what, what, what planet do you live on? Good vibes only doesn't exist in evolution. You realize that we have been, we have so much trauma in our bodies, that we have so much shadow in our bodies, that we have so much programming in our bodies, that we have so much conditioning in our bodies. And if we think that we have the ability to control the energy within our bodies, we have lost our minds. You can't positive vibe only your way through this because you have to honor, surrender, accept, and receive all the trauma that you've gone through. Recognizing there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with me feeling melancholy today. Canceling my plans with my mom, right? Wanting to just be in this. Maybe I'll journal, feeling exhausted, feeling completely alone. And I have friends in my life that would say to me, you know, well, just, just uh, move into a, a good vibe. Stop doing this. Just go into a good vibe. And I look at them like, have you, you might, I think you might've lost your mind. Like this is the juice. This is, tr this is the transformation right here. What I'm in. What I'm feeling. I don't want to get out of it because I know I'm not going to stay in it. You see, the more that you allow yourself to just move, you're just moving through every experience, the more you realize that it moves. You're not stuck in it. Many of us think that if we allow ourselves to experience whatever it is that we don't like, that's uncomfortable, that it's going to stay. And I'm going to tell you why you think this. The reason that you think that it's going to stay is because the moment, most, of the, most likely you judge what you don't like. So you feel something uncomfortable, you judge it. And it is that judgment that keeps it stagnant. And because it stays stagnant in you, you're resisting it, restricting it, trying to change it, you're in suffering. The moment you recognize that it just is, I'm just going to experience this. That's it. It moves. So I know right now that whatever I'm in, I will absolutely unequivocally, most likely not be in it either tomorrow, in a couple of hours. I don't care. I don't sit and say to myself, God, I wonder how long this is going to last. I don't sit and say, I wonder how, I wonder how to get out of this or get through this. Because I, I recognize that this is not for me to control. It's not, you guys. So what we're about to step into this month, I'm telling you, and this is why I came on, so many of us are going to feel massive amounts of shadow, potently, trauma, triggers, irritability, frustration with people. And we're gonna wanna blame them. We're gonna wanna blame other people. We're gonna be so uncomfortable perhaps that we're gonna do everything we can to get out of it. I am telling you right now, if you have the courage to just allow it to be. So the moment you feel really uncomfortable, crunchy stuff, stop and observe it. Pay attention to how your knee-jerk reaction is to figure out how to get rid of it. I can promise you that if starting today, April 30th, May 1st, if you do this throughout the month, because the month's going to be hairy, if you do this throughout the month, you will be experiencing yourself in a new way at the end of the month. If you try to pretend like you've got your shit together and that you're just going to be in a positive vibe, I'm going to, I'm high vibes only kind of thing. You're going to wave that sign everywhere. High vibes only, high vibes only. 
you're gonna miss out on one of the greatest transformational months that we've had in a very long time. In a very long time. Get comfortable in the uncomfortable. Practice kindness with yourself in a way that you haven't before and with others. Because it's not just you that's going through this. Everybody else is also, but most likely they're staying busy so they don't have to deal with it, which is great. It's beautiful. It's fine. Everyone's doing things the way they need to do it. It's going to be a hairy month. By the way, P.S., there's nothing wrong with recognizing how intense these energies are within our body. There's nothing wrong with it. A lot of people don't like to talk about this. They pretend that they don't have these experiences that I'm talking about today, right? That they've got it all together. That's because most people do this behind the scenes. Most people navigate their shadow behind the scenes because we have this idea around teachers or people that are in the, in the you know, out speaking about things that they should have it all together. Nobody has it all together. Every single human body on the planet right now is going through a massive evolutionary process. Their cells, their DNA is being activated and upgraded. So your cells within your body, every single cell within your body is light and it holds knowledge. And the only way that we can access higher states of consciousness the only way that we can access uh, our psychic abilities, our telepathy, um, our intuition, our higher self, right? All these things that we, that we want to, to access more and more with more ease and grace. It's in our cells. It's literally what our bodies are made of. And so the cells have to activate, which means that the cells are going to absorb the light that is coming into the body. And when the cells absorb the light, it activates more knowledge that the cells are holding, which is the DNA. Because our DNA is designed to expand into 12 strands, not two. And this is a natural process that's going to be happening to us on a physical level. Everything we're going through is physical. Except underneath that physicality is energetics. Right, so it originates in energetics as energy and then it becomes physical. So the physical body is shifting. The physical body is evolving. The physical body is what allows you to access higher states of consciousness. The physical body is what activates your telepathy. It's what activates you being able to experience intuition more and more. It what, it's what activates your resonance. You know how so many of you now are feeling this, like, I can't be around these certain people any longer. I don't resonate with my job any longer. That is because your body, the cells within your body, your DNA has begun to activate, expand, open up. I want you to imagine that when we're born, okay, the DNA that created your body and the DNA that's holding all of the codes and information that you need in order to accelerate into higher dimensional states or higher frequencies. Hope you guys are still with me here with this. <laughs> Stay with me. I want you to imagine that they are the size of like a, you know, I don't know, let's just say look the cell, the, the DNA looks like this. Okay. And it's, it's, it's got one of those, like, you know, on a light, a light switch where it, it's a dimmer. So it go, it go, it starts off really dim and then it gets, gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter, or I should say brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. It's a dimmer switch, right? Imagine your DNA, i.e. your cells are a dimmer switch. Okay. And when we're born, it starts off really dim. There's, there's very little light that has act that is activating the DNA or the light codes. They have all the information. And so as more light starts to move into our bodies as we are becoming and being the human throughout our years, and we become aware of what is happening in our bodies so that we can allow it to transform, the DNA, the, 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 the DNA starts to get brighter. It starts to shift. And when the DNA shifts, the cells within your body start to shift. When the cells within your body start to, to shift, you begin to access new things, new ways of being, new experiences, new everything. But the only way this happens is that simultaneously, you have to release the denser energies in the body. It's the natural process of how this works. And so that's what we're experiencing right now. We are assisting the physical evolution by 
consciously saying, oh my God, look what density, look what lower energies are arising in front of me today. Today, I am melancholy, blah, a little bit depressed, um, uh, exhausted. Of course, I'm exhausted because the body's doing a lot to release that density. It's not personal. There's nothing personal about what you're experiencing, meaning it's not about you. You've done nothing wrong. I am not depressed. I am not melancholy. I am not, I am experiencing these things. Your body is just giving you an amazing opportunity when you feel uncomfortable. Your body's saying, hey, lovely love, we're shifting and upgrading right now. And I need you to look at what you don't want to feel because it needs to be released from your body so that we can activate more of the cells within it, within your body, so that you can start to move into higher states of consciousness, higher ways of being in this world. But so many of us don't understand this. We forgot. So we're like, fuck that. I'm not feeling that. Next. High vibes only. High vibes only. High vibes only. Next. Nope. 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 I'm going to positive think my way. Nope. Not feeling that. Your body's like, dude, legit. You uh, apparently forgot how this works here. It's a team effort. Like, you know, we're doing this together and I need you to feel this right now, please, so that we can upgrade you. All of these like meditations and all of this like positive thinking of upgrading yourself. I want to be telepathic. I want my third eye to open. I want to feel into my intuition. I want to be my higher self. All of these things are being given to you every single day. It's just that it's being given to you by feeling the uncomfortable. It's being given to you by experiencing the trauma, the shadow, the triggers. We forgot that's how it works. And so we're like, why the hell am I feeling all of this? Mm, I don't think so. Next, I only want to feel high vibes, good stuff. Not how it works. Not even close to how it works. And everybody that is still playing in those old programs of positive thinking, high vibe only, shift your perspective, all of that, they forgot how this actually physics, how it works in physics. It's strictly energy, you guys. Your DNA is way more intelligent than your human personality and mind. So the part of you that wants to control this is not as intelligent as your DNA and all the cells in your body, which is what is asking you to please. You have to participate. See, what a gift it is for you to be aware. That's what this awakening process is all about. It's becoming, it's awakening into the remembrance of what you're doing here in the human body, which is evolution, a massive gift of evolving into higher states of consciousness inside a physical vessel. So guess what has to evolve? The physical vessel. And guess what it's going to look like? The physical vessel showing you what needs to be felt. You showing you what needs to be experienced all day long, every day. And it starts to become less of a choice. Dude, I'm sweating in my car. Hold on a second. I legit have to take my sweatshirt off. This is ridiculous. It becomes less of a choice. So you're not necessarily choosing, like, oh my God, I wanna choose to feel these certain ways. You're starting to remember and recognize this isn't about me choosing. This is about me allowing. This is about me receiving. This is about me experiencing. That's a flow state. So you're like, oh, you wake up today and you're like, I feel like shit. Okay, must be something happening inside my body that is allowing me to continue to shift and evolve. There's nothing personal about this. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a negative person. I'm not dwelling. Here's, here's something also extremely important. Many of you are going to recognize if you still play in victimhood or not this month. Playing, if I was playing in victimhood right now, this is what it would sound like. I can't believe I'm melancholy today. I can't believe this is what I'm feeling like. I'd call my friends, maybe be like, dude, I'm so depressed. I'm so this. I can't believe this. Why am I still feeling this way? I've done all this work and I'm, that's victim mentality, complaining, you know, 
like, like, uh, dwelling in it. Like, woe is me. I can't believe I'm feeling this again. That's victim mentality. Another example of victim mentality is, dude, I just hung out with this friend. And once again, they made me feel blah, blah, blah. That's victim mentality. You're going to feel that all month. If you're still in victim mentality in order to allow you to see that you are still not taking self-responsibility for your evolution. So I don't sit and say, oh my God, woe is me. This is what I'm feeling. I just embrace it. When you sit in it and try to, um, the, the woe is me. I can't believe I'm feeling this again. Why am I feeling this again? How do I change this? How do I get out of this? It's going to anchor it. You're going to solidify it into your reality. You're going to drag it with you like a weight. Right? So you just want to allow it. That's it. You're just in it. It's like something's arisen in front of you, like a little cloud. And now you're like, oh, apparently this is what's with me right now. Okay. You befriend it. Going through a heartache, going through heartbreak, going through loss, going through grief. You befriend it. It's just hanging out with you. So what? Next? Okay. Right? If you're going through a really difficult time right now, instead of trying to analyze it, figure it out, make sense of it, change it, befriend it. Simply befriend it. It's with you right now. It's not you. None of what you go through right now or in any coming days in this next month is you. We are learning how to disidentify with every single thing that we have been told and programmed to believe is who we are. Because we can be, the more that we believe that we are these things, the more we can be controlled, the more disempowered we are. The more that we believe that we need the external world and somebody else outside of us to help us through what we're experiencing. And we don't need anybody other than ourselves. We can get assistance. Totally fine. But the more that we are told that we are our emotions and our thoughts and our behaviors and our beliefs... Do you, the, the more that you will look outside of yourself and all that needs to happen right now is for you to remember that you remember what you're doing here and that this is a physical, cellular, energetic DNA shift that the body is taking you through and you're the observer. This is a game of observing, right? And when you are... If you are surrounding yourself with people that are always trying to stay in a high vibe, positive vibe, it's the biggest disservice to you, to your evolution, to your physical body. Because we have deep trauma that needs to be felt. We have deep trauma program and conditioning within us we have we have these programs that have been installed and downloaded within our bodies that need to be seen and heard and felt not high vibed out positive thought out ignoring changing and shifting out everything that we have been taught in order to do to navigate our life is inverted so if we're taught to positive think, if we're taught to be in a high vibe, if we're taught to change this, change your belief, change your thought, change this, then we are stunting the whole entire reason that you're here, which is evolution. You're stunting it. The inverted way of being, which is the actual natural way of being, is that you surrender and receive without a label attachment <laughs> an association to it because you're none of it. If you knew that you were none of what you were experiencing, wouldn't you just experience it? If nobody told you that you should be in a high vibe, if nobody told you that you can change your thoughts and you can change your emotions and you can change your beliefs, you would literally just experience it. 
And that is the fastest way that we shift and evolve and grow and transform is by simply, so simply and easily just experiencing what arises. That's it. And we just say next, what's next? Oh, okay. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. But we live in an inverted matrix, which means that it's going to tell us the opposite of what we are naturally designed to do, which is judge, label, change, fix, take control. And all that does is literally stop your transformation. And it creates a loop that we have all found ourselves in most of our lives which is patterning after patterning after patterning in a cyclical cycle and we think we're losing our minds. This is supposed to be very easy, not comfortable all the time, but very easy. It's designed to be a flow state and that's not necessarily the most comfortable Flow state isn't necessarily comfortable. Right now, I'm in a flow state, right? I am moving through whatever's arising right now. Hands are up in the air. And I'm just like, all right, let's go. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, okay. I'm going to just sit in this. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. And then you, and, and then you're, you, the, the energy's always moving. You're shaking and jiving through energy. You're not controlling anything. The more you remember this, because this is all a remembrance. This isn't anything. I'm not teaching you anything. This is, a rem this is you remembering what you knew when you incarnated. Every single one of you listening to this incarnated into your physical body with this knowingness, with this awareness. Every single one of you incarnated knowing that you were going to be evolving. That's one of the main reasons you came down. You're like, shit, this is going to be a game. This is going to be a roller coaster ride. I'm in. Hell yeah, let's do this. So now you're just remembering. You're remembering that you are literally stepping out of deep programming. Deep, controlled programming. One of the greatest things that we experience in 2020 is the rattling of that programming. So many of us like catapulted awake so that we could begin to observe what is occurring within our body so that we could assist our body in this process. A lot of people always ask, well, is everybody experiencing this light? Yeah, everybody's body is receiving the same amount of light, but it's, it's you, ha you being the aware, the observer, the consciousness, the, 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 the human version, it has to work with the body. You have to observe. You have to feel. Otherwise, the light just goes right through. Nothing happens. You, if, if you're not aware of what is occurring, if you're not assisting the physical form, you're going to stay in the same old, same old. So there's hundreds of millions of humans that are just staying in the same old, same old. They're not aware. They're not observing. They're not feeling they're not receiving. They're not allowing. It's like they're in a kind of like a zombie state where you're just sort of doing life and you have no idea that there's even energy in your body. You have no idea that you're even feeling things. You have no idea the patterns that you're doing. You have no idea. It, it, like you're just in that like that zombified mm, kind of like flatline state. So that's how we are programmed to be in this world. The inverted state is wide awake, the observer, and participating in the energies of what is occurring. The energies of it. So this is all just to say that the month of May is going to be the snow globe. Nobody is immune to this. Nobody is in this highly enlightened state where it's like all is, you know, love and light and, you know, nothing's rattling out of my body. Maybe there are. There's always, there's always, um, what's it called, where there's a group of people, you know, handful of humans that, you know, maybe aren't experiencing deep shadow trauma programming and controlled uh, downloads in their system. Most of us are. Even the greatest teachers on the planet you can't escape this evolution. Thank you so much for the badge. I'm just now seeing it. Power, feminine, 
healing. Thank you for the badge. Um, you can, nobody, no body, no human body can escape it. It's very natural. That's why we don't want to judge it. You know, we really don't want to judge. There's nothing personal around what you're experiencing. There's nothing personal around feeling melancholy, bored, um, depressed, um, not motivated, no desires. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's not personal. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's about your experience of evolution, of transformation, of growth, of shifting. That's it. That's all. That's it. <laughs> it. We make things so much more difficult and so much more complicated. So I hope this was helpful. I really do. I, I, I hope that we can remember how to get through this. That there is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with anything you're feeling. There's nothing wrong with the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. This is an energetic transformation we're experiencing. This is an energetic game that we're in, that we've agreed to be in, and it looks physical. And we are none of it. We are none of this. The more we remember that, the easier this becomes. Pay attention to victimhood, blaming other people. Pay attention to wanting to change people in order for them to fit into your mold of how you need them to be so that you can feel comfortable. Pay attention to all the ways in which you're going to experience your moments that you don't like, that you want to change, that you want to fix coming up. There's no way to go through it other than just experience it. But Lori, what do you mean? How do I just experience it? You just feel it. That's it. That's all. It's that simple. People literally are, don't know how to do that. They don't know how to just feel an emotion. That's how controlled and programmed we are. How do I just feel it? You just experience it. You just observe yourself experiencing it. You just feel it. The moment you want to judge yourself, be aware, oh my God, I am now judging myself for feeling melancholy. Just the obser observation of judging yourself will release the judgment. Oh my God, I am depressed. The moment you realize that you just called yourself an emotion is the moment you will stop doing that. The power of being an observer is the, is the greatest gift of freedom that you can give yourself. Just start observing. Wow, I want to go into those high vibe only states. When I want to do that, that means that I am literally negating and trying to bypass a shadowy aspect, a density within the body that is, the body is asking me, please look at this density. And I'm going to high vibe myself out of it. But the body is trying to get me to feel something in order for it to be released. Why the fuck am I high vibing myself out of it? I don't understand that. I don't get it. I don't. I do get it because it doesn't feel good. So we don't like feeling uncomfortable. But if you knew that this was evolution, that this is how you shift, would you stop? Would you stop trying to shift and change and fix? Would you just be? Would you just allow? If you knew that was the fastest way through, would you just allow yourself to be? Would you practice nonviolence with yourself, belittling yourself? Because this isn't about you. It's not about you. It's about the experience of evolution. It's about the experience of what you agreed to experience dropping down into this human body on this beautiful human planet. May's going to be a crazy month. Strap on your seatbelt. Nothing wrong with you. Feel it all. 
all of it. And you will shift. You will. And the more time that you have the ability to spend with yourself and not distracted, balancing, right? So you're always, you want to balance. But if you're a busy person with a really busy life, can you give yourself five minutes? Can you give yourself 10 minutes throughout your day? Thank you for the badge. This is fun. It's not going to be bad. I don't consider May a bad month. I consider May a, 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 an exciting month. You know, I think it's going to be a really exciting month. And, um, and it can be very subtle for a lot of people. Who knows? It could be very rattling. It could be very subtle. subtle. We're, all on, we're all holding different frequencies and vibrations. Um, but anywho, that was it, you guys. I just wanted to jump on and share what I was going through. Um, and uh, in the hopes that it assists you if you're feeling anything that you don't want to feel. You know? I can't take much more emotion. Well, welcome to the human experience. You know? Pay attention when you are... I can't take much more emotion. There's a res there's a resistance around the emotion. The, the I I can't I can't emphasize this enough, you guys. When you're just allowing emotion to be, you won't be overwhelmed by emotion. It's not experienced the same way. When you are disidentified with the emotion and you're just allowing the emotion to move through your body, it's experienced very differently. It is when you are attached to it. It is when you want to not experience it. You don't like it. It's, you, when you're judging it, that's when the emotions become overwhelming, too much for you. Because you are identifying with it. You're trying to change it, fix it, control it, hold it, resist it, whatever that is. So just, it's subtle. It can be very subtle. But the moment you are experiencing emotions that don't feel good, imagine it's an emotion that feels good. I said this in my last IG live, right? It was like, when you feel joy or peace or love, do you talk about it? Do you hold on to it? Do you, do you analyze it? Do you tell yourself that you are joy or you are peace or you are love? No, you don't do that. You just allow those emotions to move through you. Why? Because it feels good. And you don't even realize that there's anything happening other than the experience of that emotion. So why do we not do that with the emotions we don't like? Why do we only judge ourselves based on those emotions? Why do we make those emotions bad when it's just an energy? Ask yourself that. And the moment an emotion comes in that you don't like, that is creating resistance in your body, tell yourself, wait a second, this is just an emotion like joy. It's just an emotion like, like peace. It just feels different. It's not here to harm me. It's not here to destroy me. It's not here to beat me up or stop me from living my life or making me feel like I'm a loser or this or that. It's literally an emotion that is in my body that is energy that needs to be felt so it can express itself out, out so it can be released. That's it. Can I allow it to just be released? Just like anything else. The bad emotion only takes long if you're attached to it. My emotions that somebody would consider bad don't last any longer than joy or peace or any of those. When you're in a state of flow where you're just experiencing, that's it. You're feeling so many different emotions throughout your day, which is energy, that they all come and go. They're all coming and going. A bad emotion doesn't last any longer to me than another emotion. Honor bright, swear to you. They don't last any longer. 
yesterday I was in a state of, you know, more of like joy or peace or kind of alignment, kind of flow, good. Today I'm not. This isn't going to last longer than yesterday's emotion. And I don't think about it. I don't give a shit. I'm not trying to figure out, is this going to last long? Pay attention, you guys, to how you're looking at your emotions. Bad emotions don't last longer unless you're attached to it. Period. Unless you are judging you. This is a bad emotion. There is no such thing as a bad emotion. There's no such thing as a good emotion. They're all experiences. They're all just experiences that feel differently based on their energetic frequency. And the moment that we can start remembering this, we will stop attaching to only wanting to feel good. That's why we are, that's why we have so many addictions. Because we only want to feel good. We don't want to feel the, but here's the thing. The reason we only want to feel good is we forgot how to just express, experience, let it move through us. We forgot. We've been taught and told to not experience negative emotions, bad emotions. We've been taught to not feel bad emotions, negative emotions. I'm serious, you guys. If you remembered that everything was energy, (laughs) so you're experiencing an energy, and we live in a plane, we live on an earth that has duality, so that energy is labeled bad, it doesn't make any sense. It's simply an energy. Start looking at everything you are experiencing as an energy. And the reason it's coming up in your moment is because it's trying to express itself out of your body. And you have to assist it. You have to assist it. What about young people? Do they experience... What about young people? Do they experience the same? I mean, I think everybody experiences the, the energies of emotion. It's just a matter of how much they remember that it's an energy and not an emotion. How much they remember that it's not, it's not them. You know, there may be a lot of young, younger uh, people that are remembering what this is all about. And that are able to really transform this programmed world. And step out of the programmed world a lot faster than the older ones, like me, right? That are so deeply programmed. A lot of people in the ages of like, you know, 18 to mid-30s maybe. They were and are designed if they are taking on the role of sort of leading this charge of evolution or whatever you want to call it they are waking up a lot faster and they're able to move through the trauma a lot faster a lot quicker and they're remembering a lot more and they're remembering faster than we are anyway i'm going to get going i love you guys thank you so much for being with me um be gentle with yourselves if you miss this it's going to be on instagram facebook and youtube um join me for my first show um untangled on youtube it'll be Tuesday the 3rd, Tuesday, May 3rd at 9 a.m. California time on YouTube. So it's called Untangled and it is going to be a series that I'm going to do weekly. I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited to sit with you guys and share more. So um, join me there. Thanks so much for all the badges. Everybody that gave me badges, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with others. This is a massive, magical, powerful evolution that you're going through, that you agreed to go through, whether you understand it or not. And there is absolutely, unequivocally, nothing wrong with you. Nothing. I love you.